here for other children. I'm here because I care. I'm here because children everywhere are suffering. My dream is to save the 40,000 people who die each day. There had been a, an initiative in the UN to bring a, a international um, force to observe what was happening, to monitor what was happening, and that had been vetoed in the UN, largely, I think, led by the US and Israel to veto it. We fear the escalation that's happening. Over 1,500 children, we understand, have been killed in Gaza. Um, and what I say to that is it, it, enough people have died. It's time uh, for a ceasefire. It's time for humanitarian assistance to be able to enter Gaza. Um, we have never uh, seen in a situation like this, war or extended uh, military action lead to better results. And uh, it, we just, we feel very strongly. Um, we, we've called on our government and on our members of Congress to work for de-escalation and a ceasefire in the situation. It's, it's extremely painful. First of all, uh, the, the killing, we know some of the pain. We know the pain of losing, uh, well, having one child, one family member taken from us. Um, and I can't imagine the pain of all that suffering. Uh, throughout our lifetime, and look at our gray hair, I, I was born in 1946. So throughout my lifetime, there have been human rights violations and indeed war crimes committed by Israel on the Palestinian people. We need to be visible here in the U.S., letting our government know that the Palestinian people exist and they are suffering greatly, uh, civilians, innocent civilians and children, and that this is not, um, this is not the policy of, you know, extending billions more in military aid, for example. Here in the United States, we feel that what needs to happen most is to change the U.S. government's policy toward that area, towards Israel and Palestine. And so we try to be a voice for sanity in that, for uh, realizing the, um, like I say, the lives, the, the legitimate um, needs of of all the people in the area. So they need to have the opportunity to have families, to be able to travel, to, you know, to just the basic sort of things. They have water. My goodness, they've, they've cut off water and electricity to the people of Gaza. It, it, it is um, it's unimaginable.